Eating breadsticks isn't usually something that you do when you're trying to lose weight. That changes today. The best part? This lower calorie recipe goes from a thought in your mind to soft, pillowy, yet crunchy breadsticks in just about one hour. When I say this recipe is going to be easy, I mean it is going to be easy. All we have to do is mix everything together, roll it out, and then put it into the oven. We're gonna get a food processor on a scale. We're gonna turn this on, and we're going to add flour. Now, usually I say you could use AP flour, which you can, but this is the King Arthur flour. It has a little bit higher percentage of protein, so it just makes the breadsticks just a little bit higher in overall protein percentage. And for this, we need 131 grams. If you've been on the channel before, you know I'm a big fan of Vital Wheat Gluten. I have made this in several rep recipes, more specifically, usually like dough recipes, pizzas, and this recipe is not any different. So we're gonna put 34 grams of Vital Wheat Gluten in here. Salt makes anything better, and we're just gonna add a gram and a half. I always use instant yeast, and for this recipe, we are going to add three grams. Now this ingredient isn't necessarily necessary, if that makes sense, but I do like to add a little bit of sweetness to the recipe and to the breadsticks. So I'm gonna add six grams of pure cane, which is essentially swerve or an artificial sweetener. Now that we have all of our dry ingredients inside of our food processor, and we're gonna blend it up for 30 seconds. Next, we're gonna add some avocado oil or the oil of your choice, five grams. And I'm gonna put the top back on, but we're not gonna start this up yet. We just have to get our water ready. And I'm gonna weigh out 115 grams of water. I'm gonna put this in the microwave and we're gonna heat it up for about 20 to 25 seconds or until it reaches 100 to 110 degrees. The reason we want it at this temperature too is to have the dough rise quicker. If it's cold, it's gonna take longer and this is a one hour breadstick recipe. Perfect. I'm gonna turn this bad boy on and as it's spinning, I'm going to slowly add the water in over about five to 10 seconds and let it go for another about 15 to 20 seconds until everything is incorporated. And now we have a dough. Literally, you really didn't even have to get your hands dirty. And we're gonna dump this out and you really don't need to knead it, but I do like to knead it for about a minute with any of the, just the extra dry ingredients that didn't get mixed in. And this really shouldn't be too sticky. It should be a little bit wet. You should be easily able to roll this. And I like, just like to go back and forth here. The dough ball is nice and smooth. So I'm just gonna round it into a ball, grab a bowl, spray that bowl with oil so it doesn't stick. And I like to spray the top of the dough ball as well. And then we're gonna cover with cling wrap and put it somewhere warm for 30 minutes. It has been exactly 30 minutes and the first thing we need to do because I always forget to do this is we're gonna start preheating our oven. Our dough has risen about 50%, maybe 40%. That's all we need because it's gonna get another rise. Now we're gonna put our dough and our bowl on top of our scale and then I take this out and this weighs 290 grams. So what we need to do is divide 290 by six. Why six? Because we're making six breadsticks. That is 48 grams a piece. So I want to divide this up into 48 grams. Now, if one of yours is 49, another one is 47, one is 50, one is 46, not a big deal, but I try to get them as close as I can. Another thing I try to do is get them to be one big chunk. For example, so I tarred that, I set that back to zero. Now this is 47, but this is one big chunk. And when you start putting chunks together, it's gonna make it harder to roll out. So I try to get them in one big chunk if I can, if not two. So we'll just keep going until we get them all weighed out. And then you're inevitably gonna have one that has four or five. And the ones that have four or five, I just try to bring them all together as best that I can. At this point, what you need is a sheet pan. I have a full sheet pan, but you can use a half sheet pan and parchment paper that you laid down or one of these like, I don't know, non-stick sheet sheets, whatever, for the sheet pan. I got my measuring stick because we want to make these about eight to nine inches. And we're going to bring this to back to when we're like three years old. I don't know how many of you still, if you were like 16 now, used Play-Doh when you were young, but that's essentially what we're doing. And what we're doing with the Play-Doh 
is literally all we're doing is rolling it sideways. You wanna pop the air bubbles out if you can. And just like that, what did that take? 10, 15 seconds, we have one of our breadsticks. Now let's see how long it is. And it's gonna keep shrinking back up. So right now, it is about eight inches. So that is perfect. All six rolled, that only took me about two, maybe three minutes tops. And I'm gonna roll that one out again. That was stubborn. And you wanna set these about two inches apart because these are gonna rise again and you don't want them touching each other when they also rise in the oven as well. We are ready to cover these up and we're gonna do that for 20 minutes. And again, to make this rise as much as possible in those 20 minutes, I'm going to put the sheet pans on the stove so it gets some residual heat that's coming out from the oven and I will see you back when it's time to bake. Okay, it has been 20 minutes. That's what our breadsticks look like. Again, they rose about 15% and they're gonna rise even more in the oven. Pretty much the last and final step here is we're gonna put it in, this is 400 degrees, for about 10 to 15 minutes. You want the top of the breadsticks to have a nice brown on them. And then on the bottom, there's gonna be a very deep and dark browning, but it's going to add such a great crunch. So you don't wanna, just make sure you don't overcook them because obviously if it's burnt on the bottom, that whole breadstick or the whole batch is gonna be garbage. All right, when you have one or two minutes left, what we're gonna do is make a nice glaze for the top of these breadsticks. I'm gonna grab our scale, some butter, some garlic powder, some parsley, some parm, and some salt. We're gonna get our little bowl on the scale and add four grams of butter, just a dash of garlic powder, dash of salt, and we're gonna heat this up for about 25 seconds maybe 30 until the butter is melted. And then we just mix everything together so we get the salt and the garlic evenly incorporated. And this topping is only gonna add like eight or nine calories per breadstick and you don't have to do it, but I do highly recommend it because the flavor takes it from like an 8.4 to straight up 9.999999 out of 10. All right, as you can see, these look like regular breadsticks. They're going to taste like regular breadsticks, but they're gonna be lower calorie and higher in protein. These are nice little thick boys, and see what I mean with the bottom? It's a dark brown that's gonna add a great flavor, but it's not burnt. And so what I like to do is bring them all together so no butter is wasted. And I'm just gonna go one by one and brush it on. We're all buttered, but we're not done yet. We're gonna take some of our parsley and just put a very light coating on the top. And because of that butter, it's gonna stick right on. And last but not least, if you need to put this on a scale, you can, but it only takes about five grams of this Parmesan to cover all of your breadsticks. And with less than 10 minutes of actual effort, you have fresh breadsticks that are super soft on the top, yet very hard and crunchy on the bottom. Unbelievable. If you don't have any dinner plans tonight and you really wanna take this back to your childhood, you can have all six of these for dinner with a homemade marinara. Then for dessert, you can have an edible protein cookie dough that is just as good as the real thing. If you don't just want dinner, but dessert too, click here to see how to make the cookie dough. And until next time, deuces.